In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this profile image hover effect using only HTML and CSS. Let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, I make videos on UX, UI design, and front-end coding. If you enjoy this video, please leave me a comment down below so I know what kind of tutorial you would like to see next. So jumping right into it, I'm opening up a CodePen project. At the top of the HTML, I already have a link to the font family I'm going to use for this project. And then beneath that, I have body tags which are empty. In the CSS, I added a preprocessor of SCSS, which allows me to declare variables in this way. And then beneath that, I just have some basic styling, like setting the box sizing set to border box and a margin and padding to zero. I'm going to show you the entire coding tutorial from beginning to end. So to get started, I'm going to jump inside of the body tags of the HTML. And first, I'm going to create a div with a class of profiles, and this will hold all of the elements on the page. And then within that div, I'm going to place several groups. And each group will contain the image for the person and the person's name. So I want to bundle these two elements together. That's why I'm placing them in a group. So here I'm going to create a div with a class of profiles group. And so by grouping this in this way, when we add the hover effects, it will have a seamless transition. And so within here, I'm going to add an image. And then beneath that, I'm going to add a paragraph tag that will hold the person's name. So I already found some images that I liked online. So I'm just taking these images and then adding them in the HTML. And for this first person, I'm just going to give her the name of Amy. So this is the underlying structure for each profile we're going to show on the page. So I'm just going to add more profiles so we can see other content on the page. So now we have a few more profiles on the page and each profile group contains an image and the person's name. Great, so now we can jump inside of the CSS to improve the styling and add the hover effects. So first, within the body, I'm going to make the height 100% of the viewport height, and then I'm going to set the display of this to flex. And then to center align all of the content, I'm going to justify the content and align the items in the center. And then I'm going to add a background color of a light gray. Next, I'm going to work on the div class of profiles, Again, that holds all of the profile groups. So beneath this, I'm going to reference that class. And for this element, I'm going to set the display of it to flex. That way each group is placed side by side. Then I'm going to reference each group. So here I'm going to write and group. And again, the reason why I can do this is because I added SCSS as a preprocessor, which allows me to nest CSS elements in this way. But if you're just writing vanilla CSS, you can just write profiles underscore underscore group. And for this group, I'm going to set the position of it to relative. And that's because I'm going to want to control its placement on the screen. I want the images to overlap one another slightly. So I'm going to add a margin left to negative 1.2 REM. And I want each group to appear interactive. So I'm going to set the cursor to pointer. And I'm going to specify the width and the height. And as you can see, we definitely have some distortion with the images. So here I'm going to set the object fit to cover. And then I'm also going to set the object position to top. So now the images have the correct aspect ratio. And then to make them a circle, I'm going to set the border radius to 50%. And then I'm going to add a border of four pixels, solid, and a light gray. Now, for each image, I want to add a particular hover effect. When the cursor is over the image, I want it to move up slightly. So for each image, I'm going to set the position of it to relative and the initial top value to zero. And then I'm going to want to apply a transition for the images so that way it animates upwards. So here I'm going to set the transition to 250 milliseconds top, ease and out. And that's because we will modify that top value. Next, I'm going to work on the paragraph tags, which contain the person's name. So for the paragraph tags, I'm actually going to set their position to absolute because I'm going to want to have full control over where they're placed. 
I'm going to set a specific background color and a color for the text. I'm going to add a little border radius and some padding. I'm going to set the top value to 6 REM and a text align to center. Now to place the names directly underneath the images, I'm going to set the left value to 50% and then add a transform of the translate X to negative 50%. The reason why I'm doing this is because the left 50% refers to the parent element, but the translate X corrects it for its own width. So I'm moving it to the left 50% of the parent, but then it needs to move over half of its own length. So that way it's directly in the center. This is looking really good so far. However, that first group is also moved over to the left because for the profiles group, I add a margin left of a negative value. It's making that first profile image get cut off. So I actually don't want the very first group to have that margin left with a negative value. So beneath this paragraph tag, I'm going to set the first child to have a margin left of zero to correct this. So now this looks much better. Next, I'm going to work on the hover effects. So initially, I actually don't want the names to be visible at all. So underneath that paragraph tag, I'm going to set it to a display of none. So now the names are hidden. And so when that group is in the hover state, I want that image to move upwards and I want that paragraph tag to become visible. So here I'm going to write and hover, meaning when that profile group is in the hover state, I want to affect the image. So here I'm writing image and I'm going to modify that top value to a negative one REM, which moves it upwards. We notice that when the image is in the hover state, the next image still overlaps it. So I actually want that the image that's in the hover state to be on top of all the other images. So here I'm actually going to specify the Z index. That way the image that's actually in the hover state is on top of all the other images. So now when I hover over an image, it becomes more prominent. The last thing I want to do is add the hover effect for the actual name. So when the group is in the hover state, I want that paragraph tag to become visible. So here I'm going to write and hover, and then I'm going to reference the paragraph tag. And I'm just going to set the display of this to block. So now let's see what happens. I hover over it and then I see the person's name. So there you go. That's how I created this profile image hover effect using only HTML and CSS. Please let me know if you have any questions on the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.